How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I made a mistake and I want to be careful because I'm not selling cryptocurrency and just taking it out of the market. I am selling it so that way I can buy it somewhere else. And stay through to the end of the video. This will all be very clear for everyone that is just a thumbnail investor or something or a title investor that just sees that and will rage comment down below. Just hold on a second. If you don't mind, Hit subscribe, turn that bell notification as well so you can see future videos just like this. I am a huge crypto bull for the long term. Uh, and I have been averaging into specifically Bitcoin, a couple other cryptocurrencies here or there. If I had to rebalance uh, a smaller crypto, I might put like a little bit in Ethereum, but most in Bitcoin. And right now, over 80% of my crypto portfolio is in Bitcoin. That being said, I thought something cool to try out throughout this bear market would be a service or actually a investing platform that I use for my stock market portfolio for my savings account um, and a couple other investing portfolios. I thought it'd be really cool to use M1 finance for crypto. And basically what I did was I set up this account $10 a week is what I called it. And all I did was set on automatically to buy $10 a week in cryptocurrency. And I split it up, so 85% was going to Bitcoin, 10% going to Ethereum, and then 5% for Polygon. And this is a pretty cool service. M1 Finance in general just makes you think long term because there are only so many trading windows. I think it might be different for crypto, uh, but typically you get one trading window on M1 Finance a day where you can put in your trades and it will buy for you. Then if you pay for their upgraded premium service, you can get two trading windows. And there are some other things you get with it too. You get better account uh, savings rates. You get better borrowing rates. You get other stuff too. So I have that already. Uh, so I can trade a couple times a day in my normal accounts. Again, it might be different for crypto, but uh, I just added $10 a day. And throughout this bear market, it's done pretty well. You can see I'm actually up. I know this is a small number. This is not my entire crypto portfolio by any means. Uh, I am up $122.47 as of the recording of this video. I am going to be selling this right after I finish this video though. I'm going to be selling this whole $582.44 portfolio because I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> I did not realize a couple things when I started using this service and I thought this would be good to talk about because a lot of people make mistakes in crypto. I think everyone that's been in crypto long enough has made a mistake before. The important thing is to catch it before it can cause issues for you, before you lose money. We've heard so many different uh, different companies and, tr and custodians lose their crypto recently. They misplaced it, they're going bankrupt. And I didn't really realize until today a couple different things. Of course, this is not how I buy the majority of my crypto, but I did not realize, first of all, that the prices are very different on here. At the time of this recording, Bitcoin shows 29400 compared to 30300 on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. They have a huge spread. Massive. We saw this on other trading platforms too back during the bull market. And a lot of them will say that they're commission-free, but then they have such a big spread. We can take a look at another one. Ethereum here, $1,806. Here, $1,857. So we're talking about like a 3% difference on these different cryptocurrencies. And they say that they don't have any commission. They say it's commission-free investing, whether it's crypto stocks or ETFs, we don't charge commission fees. Other fees may apply. Then they go through and they say they do not charge a commission fee for investing in cryptocurrencies, but Apex Crypto is assessing a 1% or 100 basis point fee to all crypto transactions, uh, purchases, and sales. So we're talking about 2% fee when you get in and get out. That's crazy. Uh, and this is reflected in the execution price. So maybe that's why these, these numbers are lower because they're saying, okay, if you're gonna sell now, you better take that hit. But that wouldn't, that wouldn't even make sense because they're 3% off and you're getting a 1% sell fee. So the other thing this brings up, besides just the fact that you're paying a huge amount for commissions, the other thing that this brings to light is Apex Crypto. What is Apex Crypto? Because we're on M1 Finance. Well, they're the custodians that actually hold the crypto and do the transactions for you. 
Now, we've seen exchanges blow up in the past, uh, and I realize that this is pretty much an exchange, right? They could go down. They're not as highly exposed to the crypto market, though, as a lot of other companies in crypto. And you have to remember, too, they also have like subscription fees that they make money from. So I don't think that M1 Finance is ne necessarily an issue, but just with tr uh, Prime Trust recently, we saw a custodian just blow themselves up. They lost keys to their crypto. They tried to trade with the money that they had left to make up for the hole. They lost a lot of it. So I'm not willing to keep my crypto on a platform like this anymore. And honestly, I should have done this a while ago because I talk about how I have 90, 95, 98, 99% of my crypto off of exchanges. I want to be careful because I don't want to give an exact amount, but I have the majority of my crypto on cold storage. But I just have little accounts like this that are kind of left in, uh, behind. And I'm still averaging into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell all these positions. And then I'm just going to go buy Bitcoin and put it on cold storage. And honestly, I should have done this a while ago, like I said. But I just haven't gotten around to it. And I didn't realize that there are such high fees. And since the company behind it seems completely fine... I thought ah, I can just wait a little bit. I'm just dollar cost averaging, but that's just bad. That's just not smart for the long term. I really need to get everything off of these centralized platforms. But let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Do you think this is a problem or do you think this would be fine? Is there anything that you use that maybe you should take off, right? Maybe you should take your crypto off. Let me know your thoughts. I'd rather just get out of this now too, because if I'm going to continue to throw in even just $10 a week, right? I'd say I'm doing that 10 years from now and I have $50,000 in there or a hundred thousand. Well, I don't want to be paying a thousand dollar fee to sell my crypto, right? It's not a good long-term solution. And these, these wide spreads also make me nervous. Like I said, we've seen that with exchanges in the past that say that they have no commission, but they're just taking all their money on the spread. They're giving you less for what you're paying for. So I think it's just smart to get out of everything like this. Now, if you're looking for some kind of cold storage solution, there's a link underneath the video to Treasure. I think they're probably the best cold storage wallet solution out there. And I've had videos on my channel before on how to set those up so you can search for it uh, and just take the time, you know, take an hour out of your day to go set this up. It'll give you a lot of peace of mind. And if you haven't already gotten a VPN service, you should consider that as well. Uh, I'll leave a link to NordVPN underneath the video too, just so you can set that up and get a 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.